So, we're going to talk about optical storage, its uses, its properties, and basically what you need to know for the exam. Optical storage is any storage method which is written or read by a laser. But you're wondering, how is this data written and read by a laser? Well, the data is initially written by the laser as it's put in a high power mode to physically mark the surface of the optical device making a dot on its surface. This process of physically marking the optical device with a dot is known as burning data to a disk. How is this data read by a laser beam? Well, data or storage is read by bouncing a laser beam onto the surface of the storage device. If the laser hits a dot on the surface of the storage device, the light is reflected back differently compared to if there was no dot on that part of the surface. This difference can be detected and thus data can be read. Thank you for enlightening us on this wonderful topic, Hazak. You're welcome. Now I'm going to hope to enlighten you some more and talk about the different types of CDs, DVDs and Blu-rays, all that jazz. CD-ROMs, which stands for Compact Disc Read-Only Memory, are normally 700 to 800 megabytes, so ideal for storing music and other such files, but not video. And ROM is Read-Only Memory, so that you can't alter this in any way, shape or form. Well, this is good for um, software and all that stuff. It's not so good for when you actually want to do something with your CD, such as taking home videos. So for this, you use CDR, which stands for CD Compact Disc Recordable. You can record to it, so you can make a zero or one, but you can never make a one or zero. So it's great because you have to buy a new CD every time you want to make a video, which makes those companies loads and loads of money. DVDs, digital versatile discs, basically CDs but they can store loads more stuff, because these go up to 4.7 gigabytes of information, so you can actually watch TV on these. Finally, they, again, you can have DVD writes in the same way you can have CD records, not writes. Don't get that wrong in the exam. Finally, Blu-rays. These are slightly different. These use blue lights, and they use a specialised player. This allows the dots to be closer together, because the wavelength of sh blue light is shorter than red light. And that means they can store some of them up to 50 gigabytes of information. This is really useful for all of those frozen reruns you're going to want to watch. Thanks, Stephen. I'm really immersed in greatness. But let me tell you something even better than DVDRs and CDRs. There's something known as DVDRWs. <gasps> oh my god. Now, DVDRWs are just like DVDRs, they can record information, but with DVDRs, you can't rewrite what you've already made. But with DVD-RWs, rewritable DVDs, it says what it does. These are able to, these type of DVDs are able to rewrite data that already exists and overriding it. Same with CD-RWs. These can rewrite existing data, so you can erase data that already exists, as well as recording the data you need. The, the, sorry, this information has changed my life, and I hope it's changed all of yours too. Thank you for listening.